Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your mid-month reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind this reading may not be for you. It's for somebody, not everybody. We'll see what comes up. Typically my readings are love readings. So, Pisces. Heartache. I mean, what? Well, that's what that card is, right? <laughs> the Three of Swords is heartache. That's that's it. I mean, you guys are going through some heartache. You may have some regrets. You know, there's been there's some sort of loss that is causing you some grief. Put it that way. You may be grieving over a loss. I'm not sure. Definitely some heartache here. You know, maybe forgiveness is needed. That's also a card where forgiveness is needed. Ooh, change is on the horizon. Yes, it is. So this is a big change. And it's a good thing. Yes, you've been suffering. You've been feeling some pain. But... Change is coming. Ooh, something from your past, of course. The Six of Cups. <sighs> Pain from the past, right? Pain over the memories. That's memories of the past. Mm, no action being taken. Somebody's not taking any action. That, you know, when you don't take action, it could cause some pain, <laughs> right? Um, whatever is happening, whatever is happening during this time, this is mid month October, something is changing. There, that card represents you. Something's going on behind the scenes. Okay, this is this is hidden forces. Okay, in the universe, something is going on. Don't in the universe sees your suffering. Okay, they see your pain. So keep that in mind. The universe sees your pain, and there's something hidden here. It could be you, hiding something, hiding your hurt, hiding your pain. Mm. So, Pisces, you guys aren't mastering your emotions at this time. You may be feeling tearful. You may be feeling overwhelmed. You may be feeling... Um, there's some sadness here. There's definitely some sadness. You may be feeling... You may be going through some sort of midlife crisis where you're feeling lonely or alone or, you know, you've been rejected or you feel rejected or... You've rejected, there's some rejection here, okay? There is. There's some rejection here. Um, there's definitely some loneliness. There's a, there's a feeling of regret. Um, there is. Um, there's definitely some, you may feel, even feel some, feel guilty for something. Um, Yikes. So there is an there's like a lack of self-esteem, a lack of self-confidence. Somebody isn't recognizing the potential for growth. There's there's no they're, they're not recognizing that there's an opportunity for growth. That's what this is. Therefore, they're not putting in any effort. Somebody's not putting in any effort to grow. 
Oh my goodness. Somebody is not putting in it. That's what, that's what this card is. And there's no victory in success because you're not mastering your emotions and taking any action. You're not offering your love, not opening your heart. You may be closing off your heart because of the past or you're clinging. This is clinging to the past. This could be fear of rejection. But there is a new opportunity here. There's still a lot of attraction, okay? There is an attraction. Or fertility somewhere. This is fear of rejection. I mean, that, there's fear of rejection here. So, but this is destiny. This is, the Wheel of Fortune is destiny. And this is hidden. You may not know it, but something is destined. I see that there's some suffering here, and this suffering has made, has brought you true growth. It has. It's brought you some true growth, and I feel as though you may be isolating yourself at this time because you're feeling some sort of pain oh god it's like you're very indecisive there's definitely fear of change i mean there is fear of the unknown it feels as though that you're there's some disappointment here you're really disappointed with how something has turned out it's like Right now, you're probably in a safe place. You know, you're feeling safe where you're at, but it's not fulfilling. Because, you know, you need to you need to let go of the guilt. You need to let go of the worry. You need to release the anxiety that you've been holding on to in regards to the past. There's something from the past that is, is halting your growth, unfortunately. And um, it's like you have an opportunity. This could be rekindle. But nobody's taking action to grow. There's no action. Being, somebody's not being logical. In no hurry to get out of your safe spot. You know, I, I, I really feel like right now you are dealing with some sort of pain and it's almost like it's over, overwhelming pain. You're feeling some sort of loss. You're at a loss. But these changes that are occurring are going to bring you down a new path, but not quite yet. Not quite yet because I feel like it's not over yet. It's happening. It's in the happening right now. I feel like right now you, you really can't put in any effort to do the right thing because you're still going through some sort of pain. There's pain here. You guys are feeling some sort of pain. You are. You are. You're feeling some sort of pain. And somebody's not doing the right thing. This is an injustice here. Somebody is not doing the right thing. They do not want to be held accountable. They, they're not treating another person fairly. Somebody's not being treated fairly. There's an injustice here and there's karma here. Okay, there's karma. And it feels as though there's no victory in success until somebody speaks the truth honestly. And somebody is not being honest. And that's the truth here. There's some deception. Somebody is deceiving their own selves by... <laughs> Hiding the truth. Oh my God. Hiding the truth. 
keeping it in, keeping this truth on the inside is causing them a lot of despair. I mean, it is a lot of pain. But whatever is happening is trying to move you in a new direction. But there's a lot of dishonesty here. I mean, that is what this is. There's dis this, this, that is what this is. There's dishonesty here. And therefore, there's no victory and success if you can't, if somebody's not being honest. There's no, if somebody's not putting in effort, they're not putting in any work, they're not taking any action, they're not moving forward, they're, they're staying in their sorrow, they're staying in their grief, they're, they're refusing to communicate, they're wallowing in their, their whatever, their actions that they didn't take, whatever the case is clinging to the past, uh, isolating themselves, withdrawn from the world, um, going downhill fast. Somebody is just like, oh my God, needing a transformation, needing this to end, okay? This is, this is, it's the end. It's the end. So I think that I mean, this is the death card. This is a transition. It's a transformation. It's endings bring new beginnings. I think that something is dying inside of you. Okay? And it has to do with your past. Something has died inside of you or it's dying. It's in the process. And it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. And I feel as though you are probably, you're probably, um, in no hurry to I don't know release yeah you're not you're still you're still trapped there it's like you're not you're refusing to Release. You need to release. This is mental turmoil. Your thoughts, your feelings. Your logical mind. Your logical mind is hindering love. There's an ending. There's an ending here. A, a major completion that is that is coming about to bring you something better. It really is. It's going to bring you something better, Pisces. But you're going to have to is stop playing it safe. Right now, you're playing it safe. But death is upon you, right? This ending is here. It's here. So nobody's taking any action. Okay, nobody's taking, nobody's moving forward. It's a terrible injustice. And it's all because somebody in this dynamic does not want to be held accountable for their actions. Therefore, there's a release Because it's unrealistic to stay in something where nobody's taking any action. Um, your, very, your indecisiveness and your inability to go after what your heart really wants because of your logical mind is... is <laughs> I think it's causing a woman to cut you out of your life, to cut you out of their life, okay? I think we have a woman here who is closing herself off emotionally completely because of the inaction. 
that has been taken. We have a woman in this dynamic that is saying, you know what? I don't need this shit. I see that there's bitterness. There's anger. There's hurtful words. There's criticism. A lot of criticism that's been in this situation. And it feels like now somebody is investing planting actually planting their seeds in another garden you know it's like you know what I'm going I'm going after my happiness because there's no wish fulfillment here and you know before I started this reading before I turned on the camera before I even picked up the cards I was concentrating on you guys and I said loss I said Pisces we're going to do Pisces. You know, I was sitting here talking to my spirits. And then, you know, what came up. One word. One word only. Loss. Loss. And then we have that death card. So I think that you guys are going through some major loss that is destined to, ch to happen. It is destiny. It's destiny. It's destiny. This ending that is happening or has happened that you have been holding on to is meant to happen at this time to move you in a new direction it's going to bring you happiness it is it is it is it is it may even bring you to some place that is warmer or warm location this loss okay just I don't know where that came from but I do feel as though there's a lack of wish fulfillment where you're at there's a lack of happiness. There's a lack of faith. I think that you have probably invested your time, quite some time, in a situation that is no more. And now that it has, has ended, you need to stop clinging to the past and let go of the regrets, let go of the worries, let go of the despair, let go of the hurt, let go of the bitterness, let go of the anger, let go of this situation that is no more because destiny is trying to bring you a new beginning okay with that with that wheel of fortune in the death card you have a release a transition a new beginning waiting for you but the but the but the thing is is that you have to release you have to this is you have to release what I just said. I'm not going to repeat it again. The bitterness, all the stuff I just said. If you are in no hurry, if you don't take any action to let all that shit go, it's going to continue to hinder your transformation. So we have here a loss, a death, an ending, a major completion. that is going to change your life for the better. It is changing your life for the better. But you're going to have to stop staying there. Take yourself out of it. Plant your seeds elsewhere. Go elsewhere. Go. Just go. I feel like you guys have been unable to release and it's really hindered your own happiness. But there is an opportunity for extreme happiness by next summer. By summer. Next summer. If you put in effort, take what you got, And break free of this 
whatever it is that you're holding on to. By next summer, you will have the happiness that you deserve. But you're going to have to put in effort, right? You're going to have to put in effort and learn new things, go new ways, work with other people. You need to get unstuck. Stop sacrificing yourself for a situation that is long gone. It's long gone. It's time to totally, 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 totally let go of whatever it is that you've been grieving over. It's already dead. And it's time for your new beginning. Allow these next six months to really heal. Heal, heal, heal. The next six months are about healing. Really healing and releasing. Maybe you need to do that alone because the hermit is alone. Maybe you take that time alone to heal and release and really grieve over the loss because you know this, I don't know where this is coming from. The strongest people are alone. Okay, they are. They don't need another person to fix them. They fix themselves. When you, when you don't take the time to heal, it's not going to work. And I see that healing is needed here. You're still grieving over the past. And by thinking another person, getting another person involved when you aren't healed... Is absolutely positively the not the right thing to do. It's not the right thing to do. That's bad karma. You will get bad karma for that. There won't be any success in that. There will not be any success. I think that the next six months are about, I don't know where six months is coming from, but it's here, okay? Is about your transition, your transformation, your healing. Sun is a healing, very healing card. Getting yourself enlightened, getting yourself unstuck, getting yourself healed. I mean, the very first card, you are absolutely positively not healed. There is no doubt about it. But whatever is happening is going to bring you something better. This loss that you're going through or that you've had is... But you have to do the right thing. You have to do the right thing. The justice is not doing the right thing. And that's reverse. Somebody is not doing the right thing. It's a time of healing for you, Pisces. Allow yourself to heal before you get in yourself into a negative karmic situation. You know, whatever. Whatever. Do whatever you want. I don't care. But whatever. You know, I feel as though there's a big change coming for you. And it's for the positive. It's for the better. But you need to take a time out. You need to take a time out to work on you alone to heal. Lack of healing. I mean, healing is needed. Releasing is needed. So that you can find that, that happiness, that wish fulfillment that you deserve and be ready for it. Okay? You have to be ready for it. And it's funny, I said time out. Four of swords, time out, time out. That's what this is. It's like a death. When you go through something that big that has hurt you that much that you can't get over, that it's causing you a lot of pain and despair and whatever, you need to take time to heal. There's a lot of bitterness here, a lot of bitterness, male and female bitterness. Don't go pointing the finger at the other person. This is for you, Pisces. If you're still bitter over your past, it's really not fair to involve another person. And you'll get bad karma for that, but whatever, do whatever you want. Anyhow, um, be patient. Be patient. Your happiness will come. It will come. 
but right now it's delayed for the next six months, <laughs> whatever it is, it is. Because you're six months from the time you start the healing process alone. Alone. And that this is alone as well. Alone. That's where I'm getting my alones from. Okay? Alone. The strongest people are single. And it's not because... It's because they know that they what they're worth. They know what they bring to the table. They know what they want. And they're not going to settle. And they allow themselves to evolve, to transform. Alone, they take that time. They honor themselves. Somebody is not honoring themselves. They're not doing the right thing. And you need to take time to heal. Because this is, you guys are going through some sort of loss that it's not time. It's not time. It's not time for love. It's not time for love. And it's not that you won't find love. You will. But after you love yourself. After you heal, when you turn yourself back up, so up, you know, when you when you stand back up, which you haven't yet, when you stand back up from this process, from this time alone, you'll be ready. But you're not ready yet. If you're not ready, you're not ready. You got to accept that. So I feel like this is a period of healing from a loss trying to make a practical decision as to how you're going to heal, what the next steps are going to be. And I think that you have been reluctant to release. And it's time to, you know, you look up the grieving process, okay? You have some grieving. This is a, you're grieving. You're going through some sort of grieving period. I'm sorry. This is not what you want to hear, but this is what it is. Do I see new love coming in? No, I don't. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing, is it? Let go of the shore, enter the flow. You're moving into a period of gracious ease and flow. All is unfolding with good timing. Everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. This isn't the time to try to control the events in your life. Let the creator support you. You don't have to do it all by yourself. The glory of the universe flows through you. It's not easy to let go of the shore. However, this card is urging you to take a risk and let go. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push or exert effort to make anything happen. You can flow around any obstacle. If there is a situation in your life that isn't falling into place, let it go. It's not the right time. I mean, I can't make this shit up. It's not the right time. Something You guys need time. You need some time here. Um, if you are feeling the smooth current of life, it might mean that you're trying to control situations in your life or you're being self-critical or judgmental. The way to move into flow is through gratitude and appreciation and by allowing others and spirit to support and help you Anyway, I'm I, you know I'm not gonna make something up and say that love is coming in when or that this is all lovey dovey when it's not. Take time to get to know yourself. Take time to heal. Take time to grieve. Take time to release. That's what this time is about. It's about you healing from a very difficult situation. Alone. I'm sorry. 